2025 Pro Metric Partial Bed Bath and Back Rub. Knock on the door. Greet and address the resident by name and title. Introduce yourself by name and title and explain the procedure. Ensure that the bed is in a low safe position and the head of bed is flat. Ensure that the bed wheels are locked. Place the call light within the resident's reach. Provide privacy by closing the privacy curtain. Ask the resident about their preferences, then verbalize washing hands. Gather your supply items. You will gather 14 items in total, including the clean barrier. Place the clean barrier on the overbed table. You may use a chucks pad or a towel. You will need a bath basin, one pair of gloves, two towels, five washcloths, soap and lotion, a clean hospital gown, and a privacy blanket. 14 items in total, including the clean barrier. It's a good idea to organize your supply items on the overbed table in the order in which you will use them. This will prompt you as to what step comes next. Fill the basin with moderate temperature water. You must test the temperature of the water before allowing the resident to test the temperature. You may test the temperature at the sink while filling the basin or when you return to the bedside. You may test with a finger, the underside of your wrist, your elbow, or with a gloved finger. After testing the temperature of the water, once you return to the bedside, allow the resident to test the temperature of the water. Raise the height of the bed to a comfortable working level for yourself. Ensure that the head of the bed is flat. Place the privacy blanket over the resident from chest down to over feet. Lower the top sheet at least to waist level, ensuring that the resident does not become overexposed. Remove the soiled gown.
After removing the soiled gown, dispose of it immediately into the soiled linen hamper, ensuring it does not come in contact with your clothing. Don a clean pair of gloves. Place a towel underneath the resident's head and the arm which you will be cleaning. This step is one of the commonly most omitted steps. Begin cleaning the face starting with the eyes. Wet your washcloth. Do not apply soap to this washcloth. Clean from the inner cantus to the outer cantus. Use a clean area of the washcloth to clean the other eye from inner cantus to outer cantus. Use a clean area of the washcloth with each stroke. After cleaning the face, immediately dry the face. The drying of the face is another commonly omitted step. Wet your second washcloth. Squeeze it out and apply soap to all areas of the washcloth. With this washcloth, you will clean behind each ear the front of the neck, the chest, underneath the breast, the stomach, and both sides of the stomach. You will also clean the arm, the hand, the fingers, in between the fingers, and the underarm. Wet your third washcloth. Do not apply soap to this washcloth. You will rinse the areas you just washed with the third washcloth. Rinse behind the ears. The neck. The chest. Underneath the breast. The stomach. And both sides of the stomach. You will also rinse the arm, the hand, the fingers, in between the fingers, and the underarm. After washing and rinsing these areas, now you will dry this area. Dry behind both ears, the neck, the arm, hands, fingers, and between the fingers. and dry under the arm. Before turning the resident, move the resident closer to your side of the bed.
slowly and gently turn the resident onto their side, ensuring that they do not become overexposed. Readjust the towel that is underneath the person if necessary. Expose the resident's back. Wet your fourth washcloth, squeeze it out, and apply a generous amount of soap to all areas of the washcloth. Rub the washcloth together to create a lather. Wash the back of the neck and the back. Wet your fifth washcloth. Do not apply soap to this washcloth. Rinse the back of the neck and rinse the back. Dry the back of the neck and the back. Apply lotion to gloved hands. Rub your hands together to warm the lotion. You will provide the resident with a back rub, moving in circular upward motions from the sacral area to the shoulder blades. Remove any excess lotion by gently patting the back. Remove the towel, then slowly and gently turn the resident onto their back. Dress the resident in a clean hospital gown. Give a cue and assist the resident into a seated position. Tie the neck straps of the gown. Slowly and gently lay the resident down on the pillow. Pull down the privacy blanket and pull up the top sheet, covering the resident from chest down to over feet. Completely remove the privacy blanket and immediately dispose of it into the soiled linen hamper, ensuring it does not come in contact with your clothing. Dispose of all other used soiled linen. Replace the lotion and soap back in storage. Empty the bath basin in the sink. Rinse the bath basin and empty the rinse into the sink. Dry the bath basin. Ensure that it is completely dry. Place the bath basin back in storage. 
Remove the clean barrier and appropriately dispose of it. If you use the chucks pad, dispose of it into the waste bin. If you use the towel, dispose of it into the soiled linen hamper. Remove gloves without contaminating self. Dispose of them, then immediately verbalize washing hands. Replace the overbed table. Straighten the resident sheets. Lower the bed to a low safe position if raised. Ensure that the bed wheels remain locked. Place the call light within the resident's reach. Ask the resident if they want their privacy curtain to remain closed or open. Ask the resident about their preferences. Verbalize washing hands. Skill complete.